morning, everyone. Aloha. Technologies that we unveiled yesterday power the digital transformations of other segments like XR and compute. And that's what we're going to talk about today. What if I told you that extended reality or XR can be even better than reality? We're moving towards a new world where XR is the next mobile platform. Qualcomm is at the heart of this digital transformation. We invested in XR 10 years ago, and the result is that today, Snapdragon powers the top XR platforms in the world. We already launched 30 devices across augmented reality, virtual reality with Snapdragon. This is just the beginning. I'm happy to announce a new platform dedicated to XR that offer premium quality XR and enable never before experiences. The Snapdragon XR2 5G platform. The world's first XR 5G platform combining XR, 5G, and AI to take immersion, interactivity, and connection to the next level. XR1 will still be there. XR2 comes as the premium platform. Both are uniquely designed to meet the needs of the different XR users. It's the world's first 5G XR platform, providing twice the better CPU and GPU as compared to its predecessor. First, support for 3K by 3K per eye, a dedicated computer vision processor, first platform to support 8K 360 video at 60 frames per second, true mixed reality, and a lot of new features. XR2 is the platform of the future produced today. Collaborating with partners to innovate and push the boundaries of where XR technology is, what it can enable, and where it can lead us is important to Qualcomm. When Qualcomm innovates and breaks through, the entire ecosystem leaps forward and the whole world benefits from the options that emerge. Adventuring outside is really the heart of Niantic. All of our products capture that vision. It is in building for that future that we're excited to announce our intention to execute a multi-year collaboration with Qualcomm to create a new category of augmented reality glasses aimed at consumers. We are incredibly excited to combine the expertise and strengths of Niantic and Qualcomm, and our joint effort is designed to accelerate development of AR glasses for consumers and to move that entire category forward. Follow me, and we're going to jump into Spatial in an XR2 headset where a couple of my colleagues are already waiting for me. Think of the spatial environment like a living version of your team's project channel that they could return to over and over. As a result, you can now conduct a meeting holographically that would ordinarily require expensive and exhausting travel. So as you can see, Spatial's holographic collaboration solution enables you all to work as if you're in the same room, no matter where you are and no matter what device you have. With the Snapdragon XR2 platform and 5G powering the XR devices of the near future, your organization will collaborate more immersively with better graphics and performance. We think that digital objects are going to become first-class citizens and that humans are going to start to be able to interact with their computers in ways where digital objects start to feel real. Qualcomm is providing this efficient computing solution to enable really great mobile XR. And Unity is laying the groundwork to provide the most accessible real-time platform on which developers can create really amazing mobile and augmented reality experiences. And we think with these two things combined, we can actually have this distributed computing future that we are all dreaming of. The universal mission is to help people after a challenging event. And so although we're a 73-year-old company, we are now considered an insure tech company. A car is a computer on wheels. The average car has 60 to 100 sensors on it. A lot of it is around safety. This is what we've been working on with Qualcomm. This technical information is being presented in the glasses, and then it can, in real time, hands-free, begin to repair this vehicle. I'm really uh, thrilled that Mitchell is an inaugural partner with Qualcomm in their XR program. This combination of 5G, AI, AR, XR, is going to do all of this and beyond. When it 
comes to XR at Accenture, we have two fundamental beliefs. The first is that XR is one of the key emerging technologies that each client of ours needs to adopt in order to be able to compete in the post-digital era. The second belief is that XR is a strategic ecosystem play. We take the lead at expanding the market, working closely with partners like Qualcomm, creating and deploying XR solutions that both consumers and enterprise can adopt at scale. We strongly believe that the digital consumer journey that normally goes from web to mobile has to be modernized and extended to account for what people are looking for, and that is to be immersed in a situation, be able to manipulate a product, and collaborate with others while doing that. Qualcomm. Their Snapdragon products accelerate high-quality audio, video, and interaction experiences that we need in XR devices. And why are headwear devices so important, do you think, for the, the future of XR? So, headwear devices are important because they allow the user to immerse themselves more in the real world while they're performing tasks. So they have their hands free, they can socialize with human beings. We move from a heads-down society to a heads-up society and create a better real-world experience for users. Let me introduce our smart glasses project with Qualcomm, KDDI, and Real's collaboration. We now believe that smart glasses for consumer is not just a dream anymore. So that sums it up. I hope you are as excited as I am with XR2.